Was that a stalk or what? Holy smokes. <laughs> uh, angel <laughs> angels. Oh, boys. Good job, man. Whew. That was awesome. 
what what a little adventure that was that's we've seen over 50 deer this morning at least 35 bucks <laughs> that's the best buck we've seen and whew, we just put a stock that was just over 30 yards we've seen him last night too right oh actually yeah we've seen him last night up on uh, the ridge over there and we knew it was a pretty good buck so we decided to come over here and just finish class and everything off we've seen him one other time this morning and it's a good buck on the ground <laughs> Holy Take smokes, good job place. guys, good job yeah. everybody. <laughs> Whew. He is a stud. Truly a great way to end my hunt. Just a fantastic deer. We got some history with this deer. We saw him yesterday, we filmed him a bunch. We called him the deep fork buck and uh, had another interaction with him this morning again and this last one went in our favor. Finally put him to sleep, but I just couldn't be more thankful. Just an absolute incredible hunt and I uh, think I'm addicted to this sick of black tail hunt. This is going to be an annual that we do every year. Moving forward though, we're, we're going to do it in uh, early September. So the deer have a chance to fully grow because even though this is a terrific buck, he, he's definitely still got a lot of growing to do. So thank you very much deer. Put you to good use buddy. So Mitch just put down a great sick of black tail deer here. So, and I'm gonna show you how to use the load shelf on these Stone Glacier Sky Guide 7900s. First step, you gotta come in behind your pack here, between your pack and your frame, there's these little straps that you gotta loosen off. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna take those completely off. Unbuckle all your straps everywhere around the pack, loosen your bottom straps. Flip it around, you got the other one on this side in between the pack and the frame. Take that completely apart. And you can come to your load lifters. You don't want to separate your load lifters as well. Now you're good to pull the pack off the frame. Your load shelf is right here. So you're gonna to want to loosen off these straps that hold the load shelf tight to the frame. And now we can take our load cell, which was developed exactly for this reason, to fit in between your pack and your frame. It's nice and narrow. It keeps the meat packed perfectly. Cinch it down. You wanna go evenly. So now we're gonna attach the head. And for this one, we're just gonna use the lid to, to hold it down. Just gonna throw the skull right on top. Put the lid in between and reattach it. And there you have it. That's one way to use a load shelf on the Stone Glacier Sky Guide 7900. That's not going nowhere. Okay, so we just broke down the whole deer. We packed it all into the backpack here. I got a few packers kindly packing the rest of my gear for me. So we're just gonna head back to camp here, hang out for the rest of the afternoon. And then we're gonna go out again this evening for Devin's last deer. Okay, so it's our last morning out here. We slept in a little bit this morning and uh, today the plan, we're just going down back to the lake and we're gonna have ourselves a big old feast on the water today. Um, Devin didn't get his deer yesterday, so on the way back up, he just might get himself a deer, but main plan, we're gonna have a big old feast on the water and enjoy our last day out here before we're gonna pack out tomorrow. 
All right, so we got down to the lake and I got a couple different things I'm gonna cook today. So the first thing that we're gonna do, when you got a back strap like this, you wanna make sure to peel off all of this um, kind of white skin that you got back here because it's just gonna make it chewy. So we want nice, clean steaks. So what you can do is you flip that around, make yourself a nice cut, and you can pretty much just fillet off that uh, skin that's on the back. Makes it a lot easier than just trying to cut all that skin off. If you've ever filleted a fish, it's a very similar concept. So once you got this piece of meat all cleaned up and you got all that silver skin off of it, what you wanna try and do is cut it into about half inch slabs. Nice little steaks. Because when you're cooking them, ideally, you wanna try and keep them medium rare so you don't overcook them. I got all the ingredients here to make one of my favorite marinades. So what I got to start off is some lemon juice. Next I brought in some sea salt and then I actually got a teriyaki jerky cure in there as well. We're gonna follow that up with some soy sauce and then some of my favorite rubs as you guys know if you watch a lot of what I do. I got black in Saskatchewan, I got some garlic powder and then I got coffee rub. Now that all the meat's all seasoned up you want to add in the juices here so it marinades. I'm gonna go with the soy sauce, the lemon juice. If you have red wine, probably be better than water, but we got what we got. I can only carry so much up a mountain. Now that it's in the bag, all the air is out, so you know that everything's gonna be marinating in there. If you can, throw it in your fridge. We don't got a fridge, so it's probably gonna put it in a shady spot, keep it cool for the next probably hour and a half to two hours, and just really let that marinade soak into the meat. We came down here two days ago and we actually made a little bit of a hot rock oven here and we cooked up some tenderloins, but now I'm gonna improve this a little bit so we can also cook the tenderloins, but now we can have a, a nice section back here where I can build this little smokehouse. So I'm gonna start off, put some big rocks on the bottom and kind of build up a little bit of a frame. To make sure that the smoke stays in on top of the meat as much as possible, uh, we're cutting all of these boughs here and we're really just gonna stack them up over top of the back of the oven, kind of in like a cone shape once we get the grill all set. And that'll make sure that all of that smoke just keeps kind of circling in there and just blanketing the meat to give it the best flavor that we can get. The more bowels, the better. We really just wanna make sure that it's as tight as we can make it as we're going. So maybe a dozen bowels should do the trick on this one. Now that we got the structure over top of the fire here, we're gonna just try and weave all of the boughs into it. All right, so now that we have all of our ribs in place, we're gonna set the big boughs up against it. Just help keep some more of that smoke in. So now in order to actually cook the meat inside the mountain smokehouse, we need a way to suspend it on top of those rocks underneath the boughs. So what we're doing is our master woodsman, Travis, just came up with a clever idea. We're taking these alders and we're gonna split them down the middle. And then once they're open, we'll actually just place the meat inside and then close both sides. So all the meat stays inside of there. And then we can just easily rotate that meat as need be. So just like that, there so our first smoke stick. Ready for the smoker. All right, so this is the last one here. I'm just kind of setting these up like this, straight across, making sure that smoke can get on them. You can see it's already, whew, it's just hard to even breathe in there, but it's already holding all that smoke in there really nicely with these boughs. So it's been about an hour and a half that the meat's been smoking in here pull it out and give it a taste test. It's like um, it's like a little bit of jerky, but steak jerky. My favorite kind of jerky. No complaints with that, gentlemen. Yeah. That's what we got. Good smoky flavor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Best Sitka jerky I've ever had, that's for sure. <laughs> Funny, because it's the only Sitka jerky he's ever had. <laughs>
So we just finished our hike up. We got back up to the ice chest. Now it's time to debone the rest of these deer. We got three left to do. Let's go time. So we got all the meat deboned. We're just kind of making sure we can get all this blood off of the snow here so we don't attract any bears. We're hiding all the bones as well, burying those in the snow so the scent doesn't blow around too much. And that's it, we're gonna have some dinner, go to bed. See you guys in the morning. Well, everybody, great end to our Sitka blacktail hunt. Now it's time to kind of pack her down, and then we're going to do a whole day of salmon and halibut fishing. So the boys are all packed up. We're just enjoying the last views and soaking up our last time up on the mountain. Sky rockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. Woo! Afternoon delight So we made it back to uh, what we're gonna term camp for the night. We got the meat packed down, we got it in the cooler, and I'm actually super impressed. That cooler's been here for five days, really hot, and it's still over half full of ice. So that's pretty solid. But for tonight, we got ourselves a beautiful ocean view campsite. I'm super excited about this. And uh, now all we're gonna do is just kinda hang out, have some food, and tomorrow morning our boat driver is going to come and pick us up Jean-Marc and he's going to take us out shrimping then we're going to go smash some salmon some halibut some lingcod and some rockfish so <laughs> I can't wait. this adventure ain't over yet so originally our plan was to just get picked up by boat and then go straight out fishing however we hit a little bit of a snag coming through the narrows the tide's really low right now and we smacked the prop on some rocks we broke a fin off the motor so instead we're going all the way back to john mark's house we're going to put all the meat in the freezer and then we're going to go fishing with a different boat instead <laughs> He's got some shoulders! Oh! 
Okay, so that's it for this week. We really appreciate you guys watching and we hope that you guys enjoyed watching us go all the way up into the tops of the mountains here in Haida Gwaii, all the way down to the ocean and get ourselves just an absolute bounty of food while we've been out here. If you guys do like the show, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and we love hearing from you guys. We love the comments, so give us a comment and like the video. And if you guys do want to reach out and ask us any questions, make sure to go check us out on Instagram or Facebook. We're really active there. And ask us a question and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. So that's it for this week. We'll see you guys on next week's show.